This video will discuss the 5 best gaming consoles of 2022. Remember that these are our opinions based on what we have seen. But if you're looking to buy a console in the next few years, this video is definitely for you. So without further ado, let's get started. The first gaming console is the Sony PlayStation 5. The PlayStation 5 represents the pinnacle in next-gen gaming, offering a 4K 120Hz with HDMI 2.1 to take full advantage of the console's peak capabilities. But, even without one, you'll enjoy unbelievably fast load times thanks to the inclusion of a custom-designed SSD, although it is a little small at 825GB and a gorgeous new UI that builds on what Sony has done in the past. The PlayStation 5 has two versions, the $500 standard model and the $400 digital edition. Regarding performance, expect ray tracing, high-quality textures, improved particle effects, and a higher fidelity experience than the PS4. Sony's DualSense controller sports adjustable triggers, meaning the bumpers can better simulate a gun's trigger or pull back a bow before firing. The advanced haptic motors make things feel much more realistic too. Moreover, the PS5 gives access to the best PS4 games thanks to backward compatibility. The second gaming console is the Microsoft Xbox Series X. The Xbox Series X is the latest and arguably greatest Xbox console. The new Xbox is super fast, surprisingly quiet, and delivers the kind of performance we've only seen in high-end gaming. The Xbox Series X is Microsoft's answer to next-gen gaming, offering the same 4K at 120fps performance with ray tracing, high-quality textures, and improved particle effects, the inclusion of an SSD means games are snappy too. At $500, the Xbox Series X is a multimedia powerhouse, with support for 4K Blu-rays and the most popular streaming apps. An extensive library of games is available to play, offering backward compatibility back to the original Xbox. The third gaming console is the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch is easily the best Nintendo system in years, offering seamless gaming whether you're at home or on the go. The hybrid console provides two ways to play. You can plug the Switch into a dock at home, then play on your TV using a standard controller. It doesn't have the same power as the Xbox Series X or PS5, and it won't play games in 4K or support HDR. At $300, the Nintendo Switch game library is chock full of fantastic Nintendo titles such as The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild and Super Mario Odyssey. Just be aware that more demanding games will drain the battery faster and that backing up your saves requires a paid subscription to the convoluted Nintendo Switch online service. The four gaming console is the Microsoft Xbox Series S. The Xbox Series S is the less advanced counterpart to the Xbox Series X. It has significantly less storage than the Series X and targets a resolution of 1440p for gaming and upscales to 4K when connected to an Ultra HD display. The Xbox Series S also does without the 4K HD Blu-ray drive of the Series X. At $300, the budget-friendly Xbox console has 364GB of storage space available for games after installing the operating system, and you can buy an expansion card to add another 1TB. If you're a fan of the Xbox consoles and consider yourself an avid gamer, the Series X would be your best choice. The fifth gaming console is the Sony PlayStation 4 Pro. The PlayStation 4 Pro can output native and upscaled 4K in games. Even games released before the Pro that wasn't explicitly patched can make something of this console's greater power, you'll find images look a little sharper, and games will run more smoothly, thanks to the PS4 Pro's boost mode. At $400, the PS4 Pro has the same problem as the PS4 because there isn't good backward compatibility for previous console generations. There's also no built-in Ultra HD Blu-ray player, so if you're looking for a console that will play your physical 4K media, this isn't the one. We'd advise you to get a PS5 instead at the moment, but if you see a PS4 Pro for cheap, there's every reason to pick it up. And please don't forget to like and subscribe.